for. I'm Jeremy Wolf. I'm the VP of uh, Sales for J2 Innovations. Um, I do work uh, closely with distributor partners that we have, which is where our system integrators and you guys would purchase through. And we do uh, take a best interest to work closely with you as the um, system integrator so that you have access um, to help whenever you need it. Our, our goal is for you to be happy um, and to have a really good experience with uh, FinStack. Uh, short agenda today, but we're gonna go over FinStack 5.1 at a glance. Um, so most of you might be familiar that we released the 5.1 um, um, into last year, um, which brought some new, new things to that, which we'll go over. Um, and then we recently released the F200 Edge device, and we'll go over some of the specifics of that as well. But Haystack was really built to provide a simplified approach. So um, starting with that it's um, built on the Haystack 4 foundation, um, it allows us to provide you with a really uh, mobile-friendly, uh, re web-responsive type design built on uh, HTML5. Um, and with that, that, that gives us the opportunity to um, give you a lot of tools to improve your, your engineering workflow, um, things like, uh, you know, discovery through the embedded wizards that we have, um, really being able to integrate with uh, multiple different protocols. Um, and it, a lot of people love our graphics and, um, and dashboards. So, you know, 2D, 3D graphic libraries that contain uh, multiple different items that you can utilize right there at the uh, click of a mouse. So with the 5.1 enhancements, uh, we got a lot of new features that came out. So Dashboard Builder, we can now create, create a, a dashboard on our own uh, using a template. And we'll kind of look at that a little bit. We have the FIN network, which is a multi-instance architecture. So now you can view all the FIN sites and instances through one view. Um, we added the KNX connector, which is primarily utilized overseas, but with that connector, it provides for more seamless integration there as well. And then um, BTL certification. So FIN is now operator workstation compliant with uh, BTL certification. And we've brought some more enhancements to the edge to cloud. So adding access tokens, uh, access tokens and new languages and some other new features. But when we look at what the Dashboard Builder app provides us today, we get um, we really get an improved view of the dashboards. We use a template that you can open up inside of the Dashboard app. You can add a dashboard. Um, it gives you the grids uh, where you can start to snap in the different uh, widgets like charts and history and weather, different gauges or values. You can put a map view in it. You can put the whole floor plan in it, which is actually an interactive floor plan on that dashboard. So it, you'll see the different colors as the temperatures are going into heat or cooling. Um, and you can click directly into the floor plan from that widget as well. Um, but it really allows you to create a more dynamic dashboard um, without having to go into the development feature. It's just a template wizard that allows you to to add and remove, and you can create as many dashboards as you want to. So depending if you want it to be a, a floor dashboard or a dashboard related to energy or so on, it, it really allows you to do that on your own. When we talk about the, the FIN network, which is our multi-instance architecture, um, this allows you to connect to, to the FIN instances, uh, all of the FIN instances that you have via the FIN network tree, and that's located in the Dashboard Builder app. Um, so once you do that, you can view all of your devices. Um, it doesn't matter if they're local or they're remote. You can just simply drag and drop them in and out, and you're able to view, edit records, um, and you don't have to log into each one of these devices or locations separately, so that saves you time and resources. Um, but it really allows you to, to be able to do um, a plethora of things that you had to, that took a little bit more time in the past. So now you can sync histories, you can sync alarms, backups, and even your users. So you can actually manage your users through this as well on the different sites. And for those that like to see, you know, this is a, a diagram, this is what that would look like. So pulling all of your different sites up, utilizing edge to cloud to a master instance of FIN um, so that you can, you can uh, manage all of your sites in one place. And the KNX connector, um, so this allows now for 
um, you know, a kind of a seamless integration uh, of different KMX, KNX components. Um, so now with other devices systems that use uh, the other protocols, we now can be bringing them up through um, into with KNX as well. So it, it, it allows FIN framework to act as a global system controller uh, or building automation supervisor and the edge to cloud uh, enhancements as well. So now you'll see that we have access tokens. This is gonna allow uh, the FIN instances to communicate with um, with other third-party systems. Um, it's now, you know, the open API for secure communication with those third, with other third-party cloud applications as well. Um, the, it's added um, multi um, multi, multiple languages that, that now you can be utilized that are in there. Um, we can, you know, one of the, the, uh, the request was to be able to change the site markers um, to different colors so it's easier to see and group so now you can you can have the different colored uh, site markers as well and um, what also is neat is when you go through edge to cloud and you fill up all of your sites when you click on those sites you can access that dashboard immediately without having to actually remote into the site so those those uh, dashboards are accessed um, from the map um, and so you can open and close and see each one of them if you'd like as well before you actually tunnel in and uh, remote access into that device that's on site uh, we're, um, you know, real simple. We're BTL operator uh, operator workstation compliant now, so we uh, can provide more support, visibility of the BACnet properties and objects as part of the BACnet protocol. So all these things that I just went through, um, I went through very briefly, uh, but we do have a course um, in our training uh, tab. So if you were to go and you see the address up there, just go to J2 Innovations. If you'll go across the top over to train to uh, resources and drop down to training, you'll see um, that the uh, that you'll see a number of different training courses. And one of those training courses is the FIN 5.1 uh, training course, and it's completely free. It's self-directed. So as you open the course, you'll see the course curriculum that I'm showing here. Um, it, it gives you uh, more in-depth training on each one of these items that I just went through. So it shows you how to use them, what they do for you, and so on. So I encourage you to please go to our website at J2N, that's j2inn.com uh, forward slash training uh, and, and access that. So the let's introduce the F200. Um, so beginning of this year, we launched the F200 Edge Controller. Um, and it's uh, we have it ideal for those that want to bundle hardware and software together. So if you um, are used to reaching out to the distributor or to your um, J2 partner to to get FinStack, um, now you can get a and it's actually a discounted price for that software now if it's loaded directly onto an F200 hardware. So we're trying to make it much more um, easy to use the hardware and software together. Um, but it also complements what we've had, um, if you're familiar with our Fit for Fin program. So uh, any of these things I'm talking to or talking about are also located on our website. So if you were to go to j2innovations.com or j2n.com and go over to hardware, you'll drop down and you'll see the F200. And then the very next thing will be uh, Fit for Fin. Um, so if you were to, to select that, you'll see a number of other pieces of hardware um, that are also available. Um, but what we wanted to do is make something that was um, that was provided for FinStack specifically designed for uh, Fin. So the F200 is provided through our FinStack, FinStack distributors here in North America and in the UK. Um, it's ideal for mid-market applications such as schools and offices and hospitals. And it's really well suited for those multi-instance applications um, in the larger projects as well. Um, if you're familiar with Siemens hardware, you'll notice that it is it is a Siemens piece of hardware. Uh, we are owned by Siemens um, as an independent company, um, but we do get some advantages. And when they came out with this for their Dezigo optic line, um, we were uh, fortunate enough to be able to bring it over and offer it to our FinStack partners as well. Um, it will be branded um, uh, FinStack. It will have the Siemens um, um, specification sticker on the back of it that gives you all of the information. It is warranted. It is guaranteed, um, just like any other device that you would purchase through Siemens. So you can rest assured that it is a quality device that comes with the same uh, backing of that larger company. Um, and you'll notice there are some far as uh, RS-45 ports. Um, currently, those are not active, but those are coming with the future release. Um, we will have those available. Uh, 
but why choose the F200? Um, it does easily fit into a control cabinet. Uh, there's no extra IT infrastructure required. It does come with a step-by-step -step installation guide. Um, it's quick and easy. Um, it's easy to use. Um, it doesn't mean it does. It doesn't require you to to hunt a device that will easily work with our open software. Um, it doesn't need any additional servers, and it can be used with any FIN framework or FIN application suite. Um, it, it goes up to 500 data points, um, and you can combine that with any FIN framework application suite. So um, some people use the standard 20% histories. So if you put the 500 or 5,000 uh, point license on there, you're covered. If you need more or additional histories, you just need to scale it accordingly. Um, but as we talked about, it is manufactured by Siemens and it does come with that guarantee. So when we talked about those mid-market applications and the multi-instance applications, it can connect to not just the HVAC, but meters, sensors, lighting, renewables, EV charter, uh, chargers, and more. Um, you know, we have a lot of success in multiple different markets. Our core and way we started was in HVAC, but we have moved into other uh, industries like refrigeration and lighting. Uh, shading and, um, you know, sensors and, um, you know, occupancy control and all those things as well. So this is a perfect device to be able to utilize for those. Um, it allows for um, local edge management of the smart buildings and devices um, using that edge to cloud remote access. It's, it's extremely secure um, and it's really easy to apply software updates. We utilize the Siemens cloud, which is called Horizon. Uh, to apply anything to this. And it, it has multi-protocol support. So uh, backend IP, MyBest IP, uh, you know, we, we shared the KNX. Um, it supports Ethernet, uh, 4G connectivity, um, and, and our partners can develop additional connectors as required in order to, to continue to, to grow that. So it does. It fits perfectly inside of control cabinet. And whether you're using the secure... Um, access through the local network or you're accessing it via the edge to cloud, it is fully browser-based and um, interface so that you can have an easy engineering and operation with it. So at a glance, we'll see that it's got the dual switch LAN port. Um, it's got the wide area network port. It's got the 24, 24 volt, uh, volt ACDC, the USB interface. And as we discussed those optional um, RS-45 ports that will be utilized um, in the future release. Um, but it, it does hold up to 5,000 caps. Um, history license up to 1,000 histories. And like I said, if it has to be something different, then you can scale accordingly. Um, it supports um, PC, laptop, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, um, and even you know, mobile, Safari, Google, and so on. Um, the USB interface is for the 4G dongles, which require a uh, you know, custom connector for that. And then the network connection, we talked about the local area network and the wide area network as well. So loading licenses, and I hinted around to this a little bit, but using the Siemens Horizon, um, we can uh, provision this device. So you would utilize the uh, edge to cloud uh, to access the host ID and apply the license remotely. And I kind of have a you know example of what that looks like, but um, you know accessing that uh, port for the edge to cloud just directly through your web browser, um, you know you'd be set up uh, in order to access it. So you'd put your credentials and your password in, um, and the licensing guide is available on our website if you want to look through that as as well as um, downloading the the uh, data sheet and the installation guide. Uh, so on our website, you know, I shared in the beginning, you can go to hardware, just a second tab over, and you'll see the F200. Um, you'll see all of the information that can easily be downloaded. And I believe that we'll have um, someone send this to you afterwards as well. So you'll have access to all of the stuff that I'm showing you. So placing an order and getting started with not only the FinStack, but with uh, the F200, we have... Um, we have distributors across North America. So there's Active Logics, there's Building Controls and Solutions, uh, Control Co, uh, Jackson Control, uh, Morgan Software Applications, MM Control, and Yorkland Controls. And in the UK, we have Controls Plus Solutions LTD. Um, 
So I encourage you to reach out to any of these guys. They're more than uh, capable of being able to handle your request. If you have um, specific technical questions, a lot of these guys can handle that as well, or you can reach out to our uh, support team. Um, you can reach out to me directly, and I have my information here. I am the Vice President of Sales um, for the Americas. Uh, my email address is jeremyw at j2inn.com. Uh, mobile number is 470-390-6839.